everybody, Todd McFarland. We're going to see if we can't do a quick two-minute Spidey drawing here, give you the basics. So here's, here's how it goes. He's got no nose, so make sure when you're drawing Spidey, don't worry about his nose, right? So you're going to come in here, going to give him a jaw, make sure that the head has a skull back in here so it's a little bit wider. And then you're going to come in and you're going to give him a neck, going to give him some neck muscle, going to give him the back of his neck, you're going to give him a collarbone, going to give him a chest, shoulder, and some muscles up in here. And then we're going to come up in here and we're going to have the little spidey up in here. Now, I'm going to cheat just a little bit here because I've got this tool that some of you don't have, you're using a pencil. And it allows me to make my shapes and just fill in in black. I like to do, as you guys know, if you've done Spider-Man and read some of my Spider-Man stuff, I like to do big eyes. So I'm going to show you the big eye here. I like to make it so that it's a little bit skinnier and it tapers a little bit at the top. So make sure that if you do that, you get there. And now here's here's sort of really the, the big trick here of, of doing Spider-Man. And again, excuse me for the head not being perfect. I'd take more time is that now I have to start laying in the lines. So I, I usually do the first circle here, and then I, I do the lines here. But you have to start curving them on the head over here because eventually those lines, not only do they have to start coming down the face, but they're going to have to start to turn and come down the neck right here. So all of these have to start coming down the neck, and then once you get to the neck, then they have to basically spray back out and go across the body. So again, it's not quite as easy just doing a bunch of straight lines. And then what would happen is you then make these circles here, and I used to like to put a lot of them. Now, the thing that I'm doing because I'm cheating is that I'm not making webs. I'll show you that at the end, but that's sort of the slow process. But now the other part is you gotta start tilting this, and this has to start tilting so that by the time you get to the neck, it starts to tumble and now you go right here. Notice notice that my start of those circles was this way, and then it started to fall this way. So by the time I got to the neck, it was going this way. Right? So so you can you can see that. And so now once I've got sort of the basic shape in here, now this is where I can sort of add some of the Todd sort of stuff that you guys are used to seeing. I'd come in here and I'd do the shadows, right? Your head's gonna connect and do a shadow up in here, do some feathering lines up in here. Maybe make some feathering lines up on the muscles. You know, you're always going to have some kind of feathering on the back side of the head. All the feathering does is give you a little bit of uh, shadowing. So it just feels like the head is being turned, right? Even sometimes you just give it a little bit of line there so it feels like he's got a little bit of cheekbone. And then you just start throwing in some little sort of doohickeys here that become ultimately the muscle structure of the shoulders and things like that. And then what I always did was if I put the thick lines in, then it was easy for me to then start putting in thin lines and I could get to where I wanted to get to. And then once you sort of have all that, then let me see if I can color this very quickly. I do another layer. I go get my red. I go OK. And I've got this little cheat tool so I can just draw and watch what happens here. Hit my button, red. Hit my button red and I can get him go red pretty quick we'll get him red real fast and then you're going Todd come on that's terrible you just covered up all your drawing no because now I hit another button and it basically I get to see it through and then sometimes I'll add another one whoop I'm sorry uh, I'll add another layer and then what I'll do is this is how I get shadowing I'll come in with black and then I'll just start cutting in black. So let's say I want to I want to do some shadows up in here in the face. I'll I'll put some shadow there. I'll put some shadow under his neck. And maybe I'll even put oops, I'll even put a little bit of shadow here on his chest, up in here, and maybe up in the shoulder area here. Now, now I slide my tool, watch what happens. And it gets a little bit lighter each time. So now I can create a shadow fairly quickly. And if I go back to my brush. Now I can start to feather that and add shadows wherever I want with a little bit more control instead of having to do it big. And so now you can see that you can get some highlights fairly quickly in places that you otherwise couldn't. But anyways, there it is. There's a quick two-minute drawing. Spidey, uh, you guys be good. We'll do spawn next time. Thanks.